Hey, what's up guys? Nick here with Overage Syndicate. And in this video, I'm going to talk about, is there money to be found in small rural counties in the US? So I'm doing some research right now. I'm building out one of my lists um, because that's what I like to do. I like to build my own lists. And I want you to focus on the shaded rows right here. Okay, so these are all surplus leads that were generated from a small rural county in a state that I am familiar with. And it's fairly recent. You can see um, this 5-28-2020, that is the tax sale date. So this just happened last week. So tax sales are starting to come back online. We're starting to see auctions again despite coronavirus, so that is good. Um, new leads are starting to form, even though there is an abundance of old leads. But that's that's one takeaway is things are starting to open back up. Now, there's not there's not a lot here, right? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's only nine cases here, nine potential cases that we could help someone recover their funds. Here's the thing. This county, as of 2019, the population was less than 60,000 people. Um, so very small county, very rural. Um, but it, you can notice here, you know, there's there's one good surplus that's $114,000. There's another surplus for 50. And then we've got a 19, 15, 14, 14, 12, 10, 10. So... I don't know what exactly the math is on that. I suppose we could figure it out really quickly. Just approximate numbers. So 114 plus 50 plus 19 plus 15 plus 14 plus 14 plus 12 plus 10 plus 10 equals, so we've got roughly $258,000 in tax sale overages generated from this sale. Um, that's not bad. Not bad at all, right? I mean, let's say, I mean, if we could just recover half of that, we'd be sitting pretty good and at a 30% commission. So the point here is, there is money to be had in smaller rural areas. Um, I teach in my course at school.overagecourse.com that when you're starting out, it's good to start out in bigger counties, more you know, populous counties. And the reason I say that is because it's easier to find leads there. There is an abundance of leads. But that doesn't mean you should discount the smaller areas. And as you grow in this business and as you become more and more familiar with how to gather data, how to build your own lists so that you're not just um, relying on the counties to send you lists, which I teach that in my course, how to build your own lists. As you progress, you'll find opportunities in these areas. Um, just like this area right here, there's a lot of opportunity here, even though there's only nine cases and yeah, you know, it's not a ton. There are other counties in the U S that have millions of dollars in overages, but don't discount the smaller rural counties is the point I'm trying to make. Um, second takeaway, despite coronavirus, things are starting to open back up. Again, this auction was done last week. Um, so things are starting to open up. Fresh leads are coming in. But at the same time, what I've learned through this whole coronavirus is there is an abundance of leads, an abundance of money just sitting in the county or in the courts that are years and years old. Um, it's, it's actually pretty alarming how much funds are just sitting there. So. I wanted to share that with you. Here's just an extra takeaway. 
um, these are current mailing addresses for the individuals I'm looking for. All of these homeowners, except for this top one and possibly this one, they're all out of state owners. So just another key takeaway is, and if, if you're in a, any other sort of real estate, uh, you know that out of state owners is a great list to target to try to get real estate deals. But I just thought that was interesting that, you know, the majority of these folks live out of state. Um, so that's just kind of a gee whiz, but all right. Hopefully that helps. Um, again, don't discount the rural areas. There is money to be found. I just, in my course, I, I tell people that are just getting started. It's easier to find leads in the more populous counties because there's just more of them. There's greater volume but there are still cases to be found in small counties. Again, this county, less than 60,000 population. So if you need help getting started in this business, you can check out overagesyndicate.com, my website, or my course, school.overagecourse.com. Um, appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys.